countries really need to step up because if it's not starting from 2020, seeing some serious action plus some ambitious plan, there's just no way we're going to make it. The lead author of a new United Nations report says transformational change is needed now to cut global emissions by 7.6 percent every year for the next decade to meet the one and a half degree Celsius Paris target. Without such a reduction, the report explains, we're on track for a temperature rise of over three degrees. That's more than twice the globally agreed to warming limit under the Paris Agreement. An increase that would bring mass extinctions and large parts of the planet would be uninhabitable. Climate impact scientists warn that would be wide ranging and destructive. I think being a grandfather also, you, do, you don't want to leave that for your grandkids. The UN's emissions gap report is one of several studies released ahead of climate talks in Madrid next week, aimed at spurring world leaders to limit climate change. Had we acted in 2010, we would have had to reduce our emissions by 3.3 percent a year. Now, because of climate procrastination, which we have essentially had during these 10 years, we are looking at a 7.6 percent reduction every year. Is that possible? Absolutely. Will it take political will? Yes. But the science tells us that we can do this. And the report named the U.S., which has formally started the withdrawal process of leaving the Paris Agreement as one of the big greenhouse gas emitters, along with Brazil and Japan. This, as a new local emergency has been declared in California's Santa Barbara County due to a raging wildfire. Now, fires in that state, scientists say they've been made worse by climate change. Thousands of residents here under evacuation orders. The cave fire sparked Monday afternoon had charred more than 1,600 hectares by Tuesday morning.